going on everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have something very cool and very rare. This is called Wacky Ruler, set of four collectibles released by McDonald's way back in the year 2000. Now this is an imported set. It was not released in the United States. It was released in like Australia and Hong Kong and I believe even Europe. So Europe, Hong Kong and Australia, I believe, just not in the United States. So anyway, let's get it opened up. And have a closer look. First up in the set is Grimace on Painting Palette Track. That's right, Painting Palette Track. So if you know what a palette is, it's for an artist to mix paints. So you basically just put your thumb in there like this, and then you hold it, and while you're painting, you can put little little dabs of paint in different colors in there, mix them all up, and however you do all that stuff. <laughs> and then same thing on the other side, you got little areas right here for some painting. And this is one of four pieces, so the other three toys connect, and they make one big track. And this is kind of neat. I really like this. And so you can see there's a little groove right there, and that is for Grimace. And you can see Grimace here is riding inside of a train engine, and it looks awesome, actually. And underneath here, you got some little wheels right here and a little wind-up gimmick. And so right here, you flip this little knob right down like that, and that is what will keep Grimace inside the track right here. Then you wind them up. So let's flip this down. We'll wind them up like this. And let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so we only did it a little bit because it'll actually work better once we get the rest of the track put together. So it's really, it's really not much to show right now with this one piece, but you saw what it did. And that little piece sticks out, keeps them on the track. So I think it's kind of cool. And then when you're not using it, you just fold that back down. And that is about it. So there you go. It's Grimace. Next we have Hamburglar on French Curve Track. That's right. So this one's called a French Curve Track, and it's really cool. I'm not 100% sure what to make of this. It looks kind of like it's got waves right here. And let's see if we can look closely here. You can see some numbers. It's like a ruler in here, so you can measure with it. And some connecting bits on each end. And let's see what else. We've got some shapes on there. So you can see some stars and triangles and different shapes and whatnot. I'm trying to angle it. What's throwing me off? Here we go. Here's this one. So if I put my hand behind it, you can probably see a little bit better. So you got some plus and minus symbols. It's kind of like, I guess, to help you do schoolwork or something. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But according to the instructions, you flip it over and you can use these little block holes right here to hold like pencils and colored pencils and stuff, I guess. And so anyway, here is, here is Hamburglar and he is riding a motorcycle. And it looks like it may have like a little passenger car kind of on the side there. Isn't that neat? And let's see, the front wheel, wheel rolls. And there's an up-close look at the Hamburglar holding on to the handlebars. And of course, just like the Grimace, you can flip this little piece right down, and that'll keep him on the track. And he's got the little wind-up gimmick that you wind up right here. And I find this interesting back here. Look at this. So it has an on-off switch, and I was messing with the Grimace when I discovered that. Let, let me show you again. Here, check this out. You wind it up, push it up. Now it stops, but you push it down, and it goes. So my guess is when these are riding on the track and you let them go, you can push these up and down so that way there you can get them all uniform, and then they can all go around the track, I think. <laughs> I guess that's how it would work. So anyway, there you go. It's the Hamburglar. The next up in the set, we have Birdie on a protractor track. And here is Birdie in her little convertible sports Jeep car thing. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure what to call this, but it looks really cool. And on the back, there's that little on-off bumper thing. And there's a little, little thing that you pull down here. That's for the, the racetrack. There we go. And, of course, the little wind-up gimmick. And there is an up-close look of Birdie right there. And then here is the protractor part of the track. And we all know what a protractor is. It's for help you do math and help you measure and everything. So on this, let me hold my hand behind it so you can kind of see it. So you can see all the different measurements through here. You can trace the McDonald's logo, a square, a circle. Even has the, It even has the alphabet all the way down through here. So you can say the alphabet. And then there's a long stretch of track where Birdie would, you would wind up Birdie and put her on there. So let's give it a try and see how Birdie does just going on a state, straight stretch of track here. Let's wind it up here, and there we go, and nice. <laughs> okay, so she works good. And that is about it for Birdie. There you go. And the fourth one in the set is Ronald McDonald on the McDonald's Golden Arches logo track. So you can see it's shaped like 
the McDonald's M, the Golden Arches, right? And so what's really cool about this one, because this is like an activity type rulers set, uh, play set thing, is that you got these grooves right here, and that's actually to hold like a piece of paper. So if you wanted to put a piece of paper in there, I suppose, or a picture or something. At least that's what it shows on the instructions that you can put and place paper in there. And then when you get this all together, you can use it as a racetrack on one side and you flip it over. And then it's got the artist stuff and all the, you know, all the cool stuff on the other side as well. So here is Ronald. Let me grab Ronald real quick. And you can see he is riding inside of like a, some kind of like sightseeing passenger bus. Something like that, I guess. I guess we'll just call it a passenger bus. And he's just kind of hanging out in there, doing his thing. And underneath, just like the other ones, got the little drop-down thing for the racetrack. If I can even get it out of there. It's really tight. Can we get it? Oh, look at that. We got it. And, of course, it also has the little wind-up gimmick. I like this one. This one's really cool. Simply probably because it's red. <laughs> I love Ronald McDonald. So, anyway, let's get the track put together. And have a little fun. So here's the track all put together and it's huge. It looks awesome. And you can see where it all tabbed together. And then right inside here, you can see through the clear pieces, there's like a little spring loaded mechanism in there that would pop up and back and forth. And you push this in and it pops up and it prevents the, the little characters and their little machines from going down the track. And you can turn that on and off by just popping these in and out. It's kind of cool. I didn't notice that until I started putting this together. So there is the track in the top part. You flip it over, and now you have, like, your activity area. So now you have all kinds of stuff to do on this side as well. You know, you got your pallet here and your protractor. You got the little activity thing over here with the the ruler part, and then of course you have your golden arches up here where you put your paper, I guess, and then you can paint on that or something. I don't know, but this is cool though. So anyway, so now what you do is we'll grab the Hamburglar, and on the back, if you remember, this is like a little on-off switch, Is that's what the bumper is. So we wound it up, we got it wound up nice and good, make sure the little tab is sticking down. Then we hold it like this, and then we'll see how this is supposed to work. We'll grab Birdie here and make sure Birdie's wound up too. So got her little tab down. So what I think is supposed to happen, but I've been messing with it and I can't get it to work, but that's okay. So I'll do the best I can to explain it. So what happens is you have this little on-off switch here on the back. So you wind them up and then you place them behind each other like so, and then you hit the little button on the back and then the one behind it bangs into the next bumper and turns the other machine on, other toy on, and then it goes all the way around and it bumps into the next one and the next one. So now all four are kind of going around the track at the same time. So let's just try it because it's really hard to do. So we'll just try it with Birdie. We're gonna flip her on and let's see if she can actually, let's see if she can actually hit. Ah, see, there we go. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on come on there we go <laughs> this is great maybe i didn't wind up birdie enough but anyway you can see what's supposed to happen so basically they bump into each other and then trigger the bumper on and off so it hits it then turns it on and then it sends the next one off and running which i think is absolutely a fantastic little knick-knacky idea i think it's so cool so there is birdie so we're gonna put birdie here we'll put her in the front this time and then we'll wind up the Hamburglar. <laughs> this is so much fun to play with. This is great. All right, so now we're going to try this again. And let's see what happens. So we're going to turn the Hamburglar on and let's see what happens. Here we go. <laughs> He's getting stuck right there. There we go. I think we got it. Oh, come on, Birdie, help him out. Look at that. She helped him. That's so cool. <laughs> this is great. Oh, I love it. And then, of course, here's Ronald McDonald. So you can put him on there and do the same thing. The only reason why I didn't use Ronald is simply because his little on-off bumper mechanism doesn't really function that well. It kind of just like pops back down. It doesn't stay locked. So I suppose you could get Birdie and the Hamburglar, get them into place, and then use Ronald as the first one to go. And sadly, my Grimace doesn't wind up anymore. <laughs> I wore him out during the making of this video. So now he just spins. So he looks great, though. And that is about it, everyone. So there you go. McDonald's Wacky Rulers. Set of four amazing little collectibles released by mcdonald's back in 2000 this has been a blast i love playing with this set maybe if you get your hands on it you'll have a good time too thanks for watching everybody take care see you next time